name's Natalia and today I'm gonna show you something very very special because Halloween is coming up very slowly and I've created this amazing Halloween candle that I think you'll love and it looks like this so it's a hand that's a candle basically it looks absolutely amazing and you can choose to drip some red candle over it or you can choose not to that's really up to you I actually forgot to put a candle wick inside of this palm here so when these fingers burn out there isn't any more to burn so remember to put a candle wick in the palm of the hand as well if you want it if you want the whole thing to burn and I actually got the idea on Netflix when I was watching an anime called Little Witch Academy which is about this witch here called Akko wanting to be a very supreme witch called Shiny Shario and the anime I just oh, I just love that anime and I wish there were more episodes I totally binge watched that in like a couple of days I really recommend you watching it it was so 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 good but back to this DIY here this is actually fairly easy to make you just have to make sure that the glove you're going to use can handle the high temperatures of the uh, melted candle so test that out before you actually pour a candle inside the glove it looks so amazing and the reason why it's not lit because I'll probably burn my hair happened once not doing that again. So if you want to see some of these character wines in the future, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this a like. And if you want to see how this is made, stick around and let's just get started. If your glove has powder in it, you need to turn it inside out and then wash it. And remember to pull out the fingers as well. Now once you've washed it, you need to dry it off with a clean towel. Then take some oil and then rub it all over the insides of the glove. Rub the oil all over the fingers and don't forget the back. Then turn your glove outside in. And again, remember the fingers. Now when everything is turning the right way, take your scissor and then cut a tiny hole on the fingertips. This is so the wick will stay in place. So take your wick and then try to sew it through the hole of the fingertip. But don't pull it all the way through, because you still want it to burn all the way down the finger. Then repeat this process until all of the fingers have a wick in it. Now we need to make a holder for the candle. So take your wire and then bend it in half. And then take the two ends and then twist them. And this will also make a handle for the candle holder. You can use a plier to help you twist the handle if it's too hard to do it by hand. Now take the opening of the glove and then attach it to the loop of this holder. If the loop is too big, you can close it up with a plier or your hands. Then attach the glove to the holder. Then secure the glove by placing some clamps on the side of the glove. Now take your candle and then cut it in small pieces and put it in a bowl or a pot and then melt it. Once melted, remove the wicks from the candle. Now to prevent the candle from seeping out through the fingertips, we need to close them up. So fold the wick and the fingertip upwards and then close them up with some tape. Now repeat the same process with the rest of the fingers. Now it's time to pour the candle into the glove but make sure that the candle isn't too hot when doing so. You can just let it rest and cool down for 5-10 to 10 minutes before pouring it into the glove. You can take a little stick and then just push the wicks around just to make sure they're in the right spot inside the glove. If your glove suddenly leaks, quickly put it into a bowl full of cold water to stop the leaking and to harden the candle. Then take this handle here and then roll it up into a circle because you need to hang it somewhere in order for the candle to harden completely. Then fold the handle upwards 
and then hang it somewhere safe, out of reach. I hung mine to dry for 24 hours underneath my tripod because it has a loose hanging hook that fit the purpose. Now when it's completely dry, gently remove all of the tape from the fingertips. Then gently cut and wiggle the glove around to release the candle. Be very careful and gentle when doing this because you don't want to break off any of the fingers. And speaking of fingers, try to separate each of the fingers on the glove to make it easier for you to pull them off. And keep separating each of the fingers until all of them are free from the glove. The only thing left to do is to glue the candle and the candlestick together. So take another candle, light it up, and then start dripping all over the top of the candlestick. Now when the top is completely covered and somewhat dry, you just take the flames and just let them lick the top to make it wet again and then quickly attach the hand onto the top. Then they should be glued together. Now your spooky hand candle is almost done. The only thing you need to do is to light it up. Now if you want, you can make another hand so you have a pair of hands, spooky and ready for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did, give this video a like, it helps me out a lot and let me know down below what you want to see next. And if you want to see the upcoming videos in this channel, you need to subscribe and be a part of our Love Video Wife family here and the blue tube box. So subscribe and I will see you soon with more ideas. Bye!